Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18.1 because this is basically it. This software update feels complete. It is currently sitting in beta 6. We're expecting perhaps maybe the RC here in the next couple of days. In this video, we'll talk about a few things. I want to talk about some of the additional new features and changes that I've noticed in beta 6 after using the beta for a couple of days. I want to talk about when we can expect the RC release candidate, and we'll talk about the release date. I also want to talk about 18.2. There's been a few additional findings within the code of iOS 18.1 that reference new features coming later down the road. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the bugs that I've encountered within the latest beta. There's a weird bug within Control Center. So now in Control Center, you now have the ability to add right there the satellite SOS option as a toggle for your Control Center. But as you see from the screenshot here, you see that sometimes that toggle disappears from control center in my experience or my use, or sometimes it turns into a blue rectangle as you can see right there. So a minor bug within control center and one of the latest toggles that Apple has added to the control center, something minor, but something that I did want to point out. And now there's also been a few reports of iPhone overheating or a little bit warmer than expected. I don't want to say it's a widespread issue, but I've seen various reports. Now I did encounter a few times where my iPhone did get a little warmer than expected but yeah some users continue to report some overheating i guess you can say on the latest 18.1 beta 6. now something else i did wanted to point out within the latest beta apple has added two additional toggles to the control center and this is for the measures application so we have the level in the measures option for control center obviously you want to go ahead and go into your control center and once you go into edit you can add a new control and if you scroll all the way down and you'll find the new options right there the two new options available for measures and the level for the actual measuring application on iphone so something that i did wanted to point out two additional controls here and there's also improved search within the app store as well on the latest beta so here is a screenshot of that so now when you go into the app store you can actually start typing as if you were searching like a google search and sort of describe what you're looking for and your iphone will actually understand and give you the suggestions based on what you're typing so, you know, better integrated search for the App Store coming to iOS 18.1, which is a welcome change. And finally, you'll now be able to set a different primary email address as your primary other than iCloud email. This is now available within the latest beta. As you can see right here, you'll now be able to set as primary whatever email address you want. Now, before we talk about the next beta or the RC and the release date, I also want to talk about iOS 18.2 briefly because this software update will continue to build upon Apple intelligence. And there have been two features found within the code that suggest that these two features will be coming to 18.2 on iPhone with Apple intelligence. The first one is the ChatGPT support will be coming to Siri with Apple intelligence with iOS 18.2. This code was found within the software of iOS 18.1 and is directly referencing the Siri plus ChatGPT support for your increase with Siri on 18.2. Now, visual intelligence has also been found within the code and it should be available with iOS 18.2. This is a brand new feature coming to iPhone 16 which allows you to point your iPhone at something and get more information about it. It is going to be super useful, and I can't wait to have that feature on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. But again, those two features found within the code of iOS should be available within iOS 18.2. So now let's talk about when we can expect iOS 18.1 RC, the release candidate, and according to Mark Gurman, the official release of the software. So sometime this week or next week, so the week of the 14th or the week of the 21st, we should see iOS 18.1 RC. I don't think we'll see another beta. If we do, I will be surprised. I think we'll see an RC sometime this week. And then next week, we'll go with no betas at all. And then the official release should happen on October 28th, as previously mentioned by Mark Gurman. But this is basically, as I mentioned, guys, iOS 18.1 now basically completed. At this point, we're just waiting for the RC. And those are some of the things I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.